Hey guys, this is Blaziken Blitzing here, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. And here we are at the select area screen, because we just finished Area 1 in the last episode. And now, it's time for Area 2. See who we've gotten here. Weevil Underwood! And as you can see, there are the arrows on the top and bottom of the uh, name of the stage. Which means... We get to freely roam with whoever we want, we want to choose out of the five people here. So we've got Weevil, Mako, Rex, Mai, and Mokuba. I decided that I'm going to go in order. Like, from whoever shows up first to whoever is last. So that means we're going in the order Weevil, Mako, Rex, Mai, Mokuba. So that means today, we're going to be taking on Weevil Underwood. Let's get it on. Last episode, we did some shopping to do, um, to get the monsters that we needed. And now that we're through pretty much the tutorial area of Area 1, we actually get somewhere where you have to think about the moves you're making. And, um, Weevil's a pretty good introduction to that, especially for my attribute that I chose here. Because as a wood user, he uses both wood and water types, which means he can have something effective against both of my attributes. Speaking of Weevil... <laughs> Long time no see. Ugh, such a grating voice. You, if you want to get your grubby little hands on the tournament title, you'll have to go through me! <sighs> and that's what I'll do, Weevil. I'll take you on any time, any place. How about right now? Right here! He looks like a girl in that art portrait. That's fine with me. It's time to do. Yep. <laughs> just because I have nothing better to say, honestly. I just don't like Weevil's voice. Yeah. It's not my kind of thing. Perfect date. Um although it doesn't really matter in this case because um if I attack second, I get the choice between a his side which is basically a water surrounded moat or I get in the middle of the forest which isn't useful for me but it's not bad for me like the water surrounded moat would be so I might as well just attack first and let him get his side see literally surrounded by water so you have to place all of your capsules in water and putting fire monsters in water is not a good thing for me so, starting out, we didn't lose anybody against Grandpa, so we have everybody that we have in our monster collection here. Starting out, I don't want too many wind monsters because he is wood attribute, and so he's going to use mostly wood, but I do want to bring one or two. So, we're going to start out with a couple of flame vipers, because I don't use these things enough. Um... As you can see, we've got a lot more MP than we usually would, because in Area 2, they allow you to use monsters with a higher MP cost. It's pretty nice. Um, let's bring Kurama as our wind attribute. Let's bring a Fire Reaper. Um, we have 279 left. Let's, let's try bringing a Mechanical Snail, and that leaves us with Flame Manipulator. Hmm... Yeah, let's go with that. Alright. So, as always, I gotta place my symbol, and this one can be a bit odd because it's surrounded by trees, but in the end, it's really not that hard. This, this area is deceptively short. It looks a lot bigger than it actually is. Or actually feels. I think all stages are the same all around, but, like, the areas between us, it looks a lot bigger than it really is. I don't know why I decided to summon Flame Manipulator there. I guess it doesn't hurt too much. As long as I summon Kurama here, gain myself a nice plus AP boost, and let him go. Okay. Very gradually and painfully, I see. He has Cockroach Knight, which otherwise would have been, like, a major 
like new strong monster in area one, but it's 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 kind of just a regular monster here in area two. Um, and that's what you'll kind of see a lot of. There are boss monsters, but um, they become slightly underwhelming as time goes on because the boss monsters in each area get progressively better. However, because you're leveling up your monsters, they compete with wherever you're looking. As you can see, I didn't max out the plus AP bar here, and we've got Flame Manipulator here, and we've got Mechanical Snail there, and we'll end our turn. Weevil didn't max it out either, but he also didn't bring the max amount of monsters, which Area 2 will still do that. It's still trying to ease you into the game. Area 3 is when things start to get actually, like, you actually need to think about what you're doing. Area 2 tries to do it to some extent, and there, there will be some times where you can get really tripped up in Area 2. But it's, it's, um, it's still pretty easy overall. Where's that tree? Um, if you press the start button, you can see, you can pull up a grid to see where your monsters can move and where they can't. And that can make it a little bit easier. I just kind of wanted to see where the trees were because it can get, uh, get kind of um, clouded up. Camera can get kind of wonky here. I've moved all my monsters forward, and now I just kind of got to wait for him. Summon your monsters quicker, Weevil. That might help things. And he moves, and it's nothing important. So we're just going to keep on moving. Okay. So you guys, you can't do a whole lot. You can move, but you can't move very far. So I'll move closer to you all. Just kind of work from there. I don't want Kurama to get too close. Although it's not going to be really threatened from there either. So it can just go right there. And then I can only move one more, one of my flame vipers due to the lack of AP, so I'll just kind of place you here and we're done. His monsters are kind of just forced to wander around there. And the stage changes. Uh, I believe this one, yeah, there's the full moon, so all of the uh, lit up fungus comes out and starts to party hard, and um, I believe it ups the... You know what, I can just check on my monsters. Yeah, it ups the, uh, la uh, the light attribute in the uh, map, so that's cool, I guess. I say it is time to do some mass killings. I can move you over here without too much of an issue because I'm going to be killing you with this. I wasn't able to kill him with that before but since I my symbol leveled up I'm able to do that much more efficiently. And there's a level up for F Fire Reaper right in the battle. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was your first, but it will definitely not be your last. Most definitely. It's all part of my plan. Losing is is losing part of your plan. I, I wasn't aware that losing was a good plan. But uh whatever. I, I guess that's your decision now, isn't it? I'll just uh, destroy this thing for you. Just uh, continue your plans, yeah. 
Can you reach Mr. Shovel Crusher over there? Yes, you can. Can you kill Shovel Crusher? Yes, you can. A hey, nice placement. All right, it's time to get serious. It's time to get serious. Time to get serious. Oh man. You were looking confident just a second ago. I don't know what's wrong with you. You're gonna try to move back. You're gonna try to move forward. And overall, it's just not gonna work very well. <laughs> in my reach. Yeah, I'd say it is. Alright, what can I do here? I can move you over here. Kind of bait that root water over there. We move you over here, try to bait out that larva moth. It might just run away though. We'll see. Um, not sure how much you're going to be doing the flame manipulator. That's the problem here. If I attack you, 80. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting actually. So let's move you a bit away. move these flame vipers closer he's probably gonna double team my mechanical snail there if it dies it might not be that much of an issue really though oh that's a hit that is a hit oh that was a lot of damage but indeed it did survive and I don't think it's gonna survive this one Nope. Alright. It happens. As you can see, just because a monster is expensive doesn't mean it's necessarily the best monster. Also means that I'm not smart. <laughs> Alright, so... How are you doing placement-wise? Not very well. Okay. Well, that settles that then. Can you move forward enough? No, you can't. I don't think you can survive a hit from root water. So I think the best thing to do is move you back. Yeah. Lure them over here. Oh, you're just gonna go and attack the wind monster. You go right ahead and do that, my friend. I am not worried in the slightest. That was probably a perfect turn, in my opinion. And as you can see, after a while, the, um, the sun moves away again, and all of the, the fungus just kind of slunks off. And we're back to the way... Oh! Oh yeah, rain. I forgot about the rain. Yeah, this, this place rains when it's not moonshine. <laughs> moonshine. Um, oh, there's a little bit of thunder. But I should be able to still knock you out, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure my wind monster actually gets a boost from this, so... And then, even though my fire monsters are probably weakened by the rain, I'm 100% sure I can still take you out and win from here. This will finish you. Yes, it will. And down he goes. You should have prepared harder. <laughs> you knew I was coming. Why did you just like, I don't know, do better? <laughs> Area two can be kind of pathetic. Because you're bad. Duel is never over until the very end. Ugh. So screechy. It's horrible. It's horrible. And...
And okay, we get our MP, we get our experience. Both our Flame Vipers level up. Cool. There we go. And we want nothing from you. You whelp. And we'll save. With that, that's our first duelist in area two. Just done, out of the way, dealt with, done. Oh, Weevil, you always thought you were the best, and never really were. Alright, with that, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.